Okay, now we'll do an example here with a specific number for the speed of the river. All right, let's read the problem. A river is 80 meters wide and is flowing east at 3 meters per second. So that's the velocity of the river, 3 meters per second to the east. A boat starts heading directly across from point A. So here's point A down here. Think of point A as this point on the riverbank. And the boat is directly across from point A. That's where it starts. And it travels across the river heading directly south. That means the boat is going to be pointing to the south as it travels across the river, which is down in our diagram. The boat stays pointing down the whole time in this direction. How far from point A does the boat land? Well, as the boat travels across the river, the current dr makes it drift to the right, so it ends up moving in a path like this. Even though it's pointing south the whole time, it ends up being carried to the right by the current, and it ends up here. And we want to find this distance, how far downstream from, from point A it lands. Well, here's how we do it. We have to do this in two steps. And the two steps are always this. We do the vertical and we do the horizontal. Those are our two distinct steps and we do them separately. And in this, in this problem we do the vertical first. And here's why. We know some things about the vertical motion. We know the boat's moving at 10 meters per second. I'll draw that on my diagram. 10 meters per second. And we, so we know the vertical velocity right there, 10 meters per second. And we know the vertical or north-south distance, in this case, 80 meters. And if we know those two things, then we can find the time. So I'm going to write north-south to indicate that I'm doing the north-south part of the problem. I'm only considering the vertical or north-south uh, variables in this case. And I know that the time is going to be the distance divided by the velocity. And the distance is 80 meters and the velocity is 10 meters per second and so as we saw earlier the meters cancel and the time comes out to be 8 seconds so that's how long it takes for the trip now I'll do the, the horizontal or in this case the east-west so first I was only considering the north-south or vertical now I'm only considering the east-west or horizontal and here's what I know I'm trying to find how far it goes that's my goal. I know that is going to be the velocity times the time. And my velocity here is the east-west velocity. That's how fast it moves to the right, or to the east in this case, the horizontal motion. That's the 3 meters per second. And then the time is still 8 seconds. So 3 meters per second times 8 seconds. The time is the same for the horizontal and the vertical. It starts here and ends there after a certain time. So we just multiply velocity times time. And you can see the seconds canceling right there. And we're left with 8 times 3, which is 24. And you can see we're left with meters right there. So 24 meters. And that's our answer. That's this distance right here. 24 meters. That's how far downstream from point A the boat hit the opposite shore. And once again, the main idea, to find that answer, we had to consider the vertical and the horizontal motion independently.